Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a 3D track text and how to create your own 3D textures easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's finished, I will select some points right on the car, because I want to create a 3D text right above the car. Now right click and select create solid and camera. Let's grab a text tool and type anything. Do not worry about your text size or position, just make sure to toggle it off, because we don't need to see it. Now create new solid layer. Rename it to element and then make sure that the solid size is the same as your composition and then hit OK. Now apply element plugin on that layer. Under element effect, expand custom layers, then custom text and masks and make sure to change path layer 1 to a text you have created. Now click on scene setup to open element 3D and here click on extrude. So here we have our text and we can adjust it just a little bit here. Make sure to expand extrusion model and click on bevel 1. I will slightly increase extrude to make the text thicker and I think I will skip other settings, cause I like how it is right now. Let's hit OK. So here is a 3D text itself and before we begin adding any textures, let's first check if it's tracked perfectly. As you see the text is not tracked at all, now let me show you how to fix it. Select track solid layer and press P on your keyboard. Make sure to copy position Z value and then select element layer, now expand group 1, then particle replicator and paste that value to a position Z here. Now expand particle look and increase particle size. Let's quickly correct X and Y position as well. In case you want to rotate the text, expand rotation and rotate it on your wish. Let's check if it's fixed and tracked perfectly. And that's it, we have fixed it and now it's time to apply our own textures. But first let's toggle off track solid layer, cause we don't need it anymore. Before I show you how to create an easy texture, let me show you first how to apply free presets that are built in element. Click on scene setup. Now click on presets, then physical and here you will have several presets that you can also use. I won't use any of these and let's create our own. Create new solid layer. I will name it textures and then make sure that the size is the same as your composition and then hit OK. I will solo that layer for a while and then apply 4 color gradient effect. Let's change these colors, I will change them randomly, you can pick any color you want. Once you are done with colors, make sure to scroll to the very beginning of a textures layer and then click on point 1, point 2, point 3, and point 4 stopwatch icons to create keyframes. Now scroll to the very end of textures layer and I will drag these points randomly. Just change their positions. Once you are done, we can quickly check it. Looks really cool, but let's apply a turbulent displace effect now. Change displacement to vertical displacement. Change amount to 300. Size to around 30. Complexity to 10. Now hold Alt on your keyboard and click on Evolution Stopwatch icon. This will open an expression down and make sure to type in here, Time, Star icon and 150. Let's check it now. That looks way better and smooth. Now I will unsolo this layer and then pre-compose it. Let's correct the name and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now make sure to toggle off textures layer and then select element layer. Scroll down to custom layers and expand custom texture maps. Change layer 1 to a textures layer. Now scroll up and click on scene setup. Here make sure to scroll down till textures and click on diffuse here. Click on that arrow and select custom layer 1 textures. And here we have our created texture, so make sure to hit OK and let's go back to our main composition. As you see our created texture is applied to the text and we can quickly check if it's animated as well. Looks really cool. In case you want to make any changes, just make sure to double click on textures layer and here feel free to make any changes you want. Once you are done, go back to your main composition and from here we will be able to see the changes and also add more effects as well. Let's select element layer and for example let's add some animations to the text. Expand multi object and enable it. Now scroll to the very beginning of your element layer and then click on rotation random stopwatch icon. Then increase the value until you will be satisfied with it and after make sure to scroll to the end of an element layer and change rotation to negative values. Let's quickly check it. Looks nice, but now let's apply some effects as well, for example I want to add a glow, let's apply a deep glow on element layer, I will decrease in exposure just a little bit. Now maybe let's add God Rays plugin as well, I will randomly play around with the settings until it looks fine to me. And here we are done. If this tutorial was interesting to you, let me know in the comments below and I will drop more amazing and easy to make textures and animations in Element plugin. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.